Alec Dreams and today I want to talk about how to get an hourglass shape and how to maintain it. So I get this question all the time like how do you get your shape or you know your body looks good and so I want to kind of go back to the history and how I maintain my body throughout time. So when I was in high school I was a cheerleader and what I noticed is that everybody on the team had the same body type. And then when I looked at like the swimmers, they all had like broad shoulders and muscular arms, but then thin down here. And then I also noticed that like, what is it when people do long distance running? Whatever that is, where they just run and run and run. But it's a sport. I forgot what it's called. I think it's called long distance running. And they were always like super skinny, but everybody had the same body type. But it's because everybody was doing the same routine. And I kind of want to talk about the things that I did to maintain like my stomach and to get the hourglass shape that I had. So what I did notice is for me, when we did exercises, we always had to tighten our core. And you always wondered like, how did they throw this woman in the air and hold them and like this? It was mostly core. And so I was either a, I was everything, I was a base, which means that you're holding someone up with someone. I was a spotter and I was a flyer. But when I'm a base or a flyer, meaning you're in the air, core was everything. Because if you loosen your core, you will fall. And um, a lot of people wondered, like, how do you throw someone? Or how do they stay in the air with one, a person holding them up with one arm? And as long as you tighten your core, you could stay still it's easy for that person to hold you up it was easy for me to bring my leg above my um head um we did sports where we had to in mid-air go like this and sucking in your core was everything and so when we we sucked it in so much in doing our routine that all of our stomachs became flat because we're using our muscles and sucking it in all the time which brought everything in and because we exercised so much we were always hungry so we we're putting protein in our body and instead of the weight going here it was bringing our hips out it was giving us butt also what happened because my body was even more hourglassy when i was a cheerleader like out of this world goddess type <laughs> so um basically when i did when I switched over to a base, meaning that we lifted the girls, a lot of times we um, had stunts where we would go down and then we would bring someone up. So that kind of helped with my hips and my butt and my core. So when you're lifting someone, you're basically lifting weights. And so that's why when I tell people when they're exercising to always use like a medicine ball and going down and bringing it up, going down and bringing it up going down and bringing it up and it helps with your core your butt all of those things along with running so that you can keep the weight off and so those were some of the things that um i did and i still maintain now um as far as like my morning routine what i do is when i get up i don't eat until noon and mind you i stop eating at 8 p.m at night and then i don't eat until noon but to curb my craving until noon i drink coffee um a lot of people you know when they're doing intermittent fasting they drink their coffee black but i still add a little bit of creamer to my coffee and then after in the afternoon afternoon i eat so that kind of helps as well when you're doing the intermittent fasting and then you can eat but you have to make sure that you stop eating like at 8 p.m but some people have different time frames on what they do their intermittent fasting as long as they do it just based on their job and things like that so when we're talking about having an hourglass shape we're talking about you know trying to have toned arms a small waist and still maintaining the butt and so that's why I was talking about the medicine ball because you're toning your arms, you're working your core, but you're also maintaining that juicy butt of yours or if you want to get one. And some of you guys who are nowhere close to my size, I will say that last year I was 20 pounds bigger and that's because I was drinking a lot of um, sugary drinks, I was eating processed foods, kind of was going through something at that time. <laughs> I don't know, but I was going through some things and for some reason I was just always hungry and I don't know what void I was trying to fill, but that's the short end of the story. So I had gained 20 pounds. I was 
out here or my butt was big my face was chunky like you might find a, vi a video or two i think it was a video that said like um how to spot like fake friends or something like that um and you can see that my face is a little bit bigger i actually deleted a lot of videos where my face was a lot bigger it just didn't look right on me like i have a diamond shaped face and my face just doesn't look right big you know some people don't look good small and some people don't look good big you know like you'll see people like on tv who like had gastric bypass and some people just meant to have a little bit more meat on their bones but you still can have an hourglass shape with meat on your bones you get what i'm saying so when i was trying to lose the weight i definitely had to exercise and so exercise and i'm not talking about like no high intensity stuff like i straight went on the treadmill um this was before covid i was on the treadmill every day um or you could do every other day for 30 to 40 minutes and what i started off doing was i would do a five minute walk and then i would go on an incline on the treadmill and um, I would do hit movement. So the hit is where you do bursts of like fast running for a couple of seconds and then you kind of relax and walk. Then burst of energy running and then you relax. But you, some people have to work their way up to it. So I would say if you're just kind of working your way up to that, I would say go on the treadmill, walk for five minutes and then and then um, do the incline on the treadmill and do, um, do it faster. Like you don't have to do extremely fast, but do a, a, a power walk. And then you would do the medicine ball um, so that you can hit the core because you're trying to lose weight with working on the treadmill. Um, and then in the afternoon, I would just like take a walk. And not only was that kind of like good for my body, but it was good for my spirit to kind of be outside, feel the air, listen to music, um, listen to podcasts because you're kind of like regrouping your mind too like when people are talking about the body i feel like you need to feed your um mind and soul at the same time but that's a personal thing um that helped me kind of maintain and feel feel a need to want to walk like on days that i didn't want to go on the treadmill or lift the medicine ball i would go on a walk but those are those in between days like there's no days off you guys like what i mean is you don't have to do the treadmill every day but if you're doing the treadmill and the medicine ball for two days and then you are tired the third day go for a walk power walk like i don't care what anybody think i was in a neighborhood like walking fast hard and when i walked i brought my arms up because i had that goal for myself i didn't care what anybody thought and i would have my earphones and i would keep going and i would always stay hydrated with water because the more that you exercise the more that you drink water so that's good for your body as well because you're feeding your mind body spirit and your skin is glowing sis and your hair is glowing sis and so there's so many benefits to it and um i feel like if i didn't do cheerleading i would have never known about having this hourglass shape or to how to maintain it and um it makes me feel feminine and beautiful like i love the shape but sis, you are beautiful in any shape that you have. But this is for those who want to maintain that and have this body body, you know. And so we all have little goals and I'm trying to stick to it. No, I'm not perfect in my body, but I'm, I try to maintain, you know. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment so that you can see my other videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.